All right, we're gonna go ahead and get right to it today. Um, right now, I'm on my way to go get a, a laptop because I realized that my laptop is is just too old. It's not doing what it needs to do, and I need a laptop to be able to edit all the things you're gonna be filming. Um, but one thing that came to mind I thought was just a little weird, a little crazy, is that I am not I am not used to any of this at all. I am not used to you know going out and filming. I'm not used to editing yeah I'm, I'm literally learning you know, you know from scratch you know and uh, I think I don't know I'm pretty proud of myself but one thing I realized about myself is that I can't I can't play the part unless I know uh, unless I'm prepared you know unless I have what I need to do I mean I think uh, uh, part of the part of the process in becoming whatever it is you want to become in this case you know a vlogger you know a travel vlogger you know, humanitarian, you know, um, I don't know, especially, I don't know what the hell, I mean, we're just getting a lot of things done, but, um, you know, I feel like you need to be able to play the part, you know, you can't, for instance, you can't, you can't go out and fix a house without the proper tools to build the house, you know, you can't have, you know, tools that, that you need to fix a house when you have tools that are made for fixing cars and you got to be able to be prepared so in this case you know I don't think you need to buy a go crazy and buy you know an Apple laptop or all these crazy things to be able to play the part but in my case just because of the way I work and the way my brain works um, I feel like I need to to go out and buy a laptop just to be able to edit these uh, these videos I feel like to be able to do a good job I need I need to feel the part and to be able to feel that part I need to buy a laptop and when I went went ahead and uh, turned on my laptop this morning I didn't didn't feel that you know it was all <laughs> slow and you know I haven't opened that laptop in years and I haven't needed it in the things that I do so I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a new laptop um, I think you know that's you know, the major part of, of change is, is always being able to adapt and if you're not adapted to your environment you're not adapted to that new position you know uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're not ever gonna feel like you're, you're gonna grasp it enough you know uh, you have to change your mindset you have to change you know kind of the way you think and the way you do things you gotta form you know a new a new way of doing things you know in comparison to what you're used to and create a habit and that's that's the whole part of change right change can happen like this and if you're not ready to adapt if you're not ready to to kind of you know play that new part in life you know you're, you're gonna it's gonna be hard you're gonna be confused you're gonna be you know you're not you know you're not gonna feel like you you have direction you're not gonna feel like you can grasp anything and kind of understand yourself and understand your feelings and you know um, so you know one of the major things that you need to be able to do when there's change whether you chose it in my case I chose this or whether it comes to you is to be able to adapt is to be able to figure out exactly what it is that you need to do to progress to come off of that as healthy as possible right you can never be under pressure you got to be over that pressure and if you're at par with the pressure, make sure that you're still being able to progress. The last thing you need in, in, in our society, at least here in the United States, is you don't want to be, uh, how would I say, what's the best word for this? Um, you can't let life beat you, right? We all we all know this. This is this is all, I mean, we all seen the Rocky movies. We all seen stuff, you know, you can't let, you know, life beat you down and, and let that part of life kind of mold you and keep you there you know so you know we, we all we all want some kind of freedom we all want to you know be able to do what we love or you know whatever it is and a major part of that is to be able to change and adapt to your surroundings um, to your situation uh, emotionally spiritually intellectually physically and etc so and you know I think that's a very important thing that came to mind and you know I'm not gonna say this is easy for me this is not easy for me you know I, I mean the craziest thing right now is that I stopped filming when I was in Dallas I stopped filming because you know I got sick 
Did I adapt to, to, to the pressure? No, I didn't. I stopped. Now, I said, you know, the first day of the new year, January 1st, I'm going to be filming every single day. Guess what happened? You know, December 31st. <laughs> I got sick again. But I said, you know, my body was against me. Everything was against me. And I said, you know what? The little bit of will that I got left, I mean, I, I'm not going to be dramatic, but, you know, it, it, you know, my body was in extreme pain. I'm going to go ahead and get what, it, what I need to to get done to be able to adapt, to be able to pour myself onto the demand that I gave myself, which is film every single day. So, enough of that. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get to Best Buy. We're going to see uh, if I get myself a laptop and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I just got here to the Best Buy. Um, fortunately, the other Best Buy, I don't know if they are closed. They have like five locations closed at the moment. I think it's because of COVID. Um, talking about COVID, uh, let's just say it sucks. And I think it's making a comeback in 2022. So I kind of hate it because both my parents got COVID. I don't know how many people I know got COVID. I mean, I, if you got COVID, I guess you have COVID nowadays, right? So whatever we got here. Um, got myself a little smoothie and um, I guess make this happen because uh, I'm going home today with a laptop. That's what I'm hoping with. So apparently they're sure handed. And, uh, because the pandemic is making a comeback, there isn't enough employees, so whatever. We'll just have to wait. Alright, so as you guys saw, uh, we were able to secure the laptop. And uh, that was way too easy, huh? <laughs> it was way too easy. I just got up and said, I need a laptop. And to be honest with you, it shouldn't be this easy, right? But, you know, thankfully, I work hard, do things right, you know? You work hard, you build some credit, you whatever it is, to be able to just come in and out and get whatever it is you need. So, don't forget, it's never that easy, right? Never that easy. Years and years of doing things right, right? You gotta play the system, you know? For a while, I was the type of person that all I wanted to do was cash. Um, that only works when you're when you're born a billionaire, and I wasn't. So, whatever, we make things happen, right? All right, so let's get back home, and uh, you guys should get to know the the house, the animals, kind of more or less a couple of things of what I do, and uh, more or less more more about me since we're still in those videos of getting to know me, and we'll call it a day. So let's head over there. Alright, so we just got to my house. Um, I know you guys seen a couple of cars in the driveway. Um, three, four of those cars are mine. And it's not because I like to collect cars for the business. But I'll go ahead and explain that a little bit right now. Uh, but we just got here. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out. And then we'll get to it. So, this is the humble boat. It's pretty nice. Not too bad. And in order to keep traveling, I went ahead and rented out one of the rooms. So this is my roommate's car. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a humble boat. I keep calling it humble boat. Why? Because it's I don't know. It's humble. <laughs> and then a couple of things. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of you. I don't know why, but a lot of you may be thinking and seeing, you know, where I live and the cars that I have. Blah blah. blah. To me. 
there's so much room for progress, so much room to 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 just you know grow and make more money and you know kind of you know, I see the overhead and there's still so much to to succeed in. And I mean, to me, this is this is a lot for me. You know, coming coming from where I come from, um, on my own. You know, I don't consider my my parents' success my success, but it is uh, a, a a start a starting point, right? Of uh, of where my life started, of anything like that. And on my own, you know, uh, with my parents' guidance, with you know, with everybody that I've uh, ever come across, and I learned the good things from, and etc. Uh, I was able to get myself to this situation where I have my own small business, you know, and I'm traveling and, you know, filming and, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, take it to the next level and that's where, you know, this comes in, that's where filming comes in and uh, I work extremely hard to be able to, you know, do everything, you know, balance out the small business, balance out the independent contracting, which you guys see when I travel around the nation and whatnot. Um, I try really hard to, you know, do things at a distance because you know I'm not always home so I gotta be you know always doing things off the phone you know calling people and you know hiring people and stuff like that it's really hard but like I said you know it, I think I came a long way and I'm pretty grateful for it I've worked really hard and like I said you know all these things that I'm going off and you know trying to express and pass down from the things that I've learned so I could keep climbing and, and keep passing down uh, any good information that people can use that will help us, um, you know, just live a better life. It comes from working extremely hard and sacrifice and dedication and, you know, still being able to keep, you know, consistency while being sick, you know, and all this stuff. So, the point is, is that, uh, yeah, I didn't, this thing, these, all these things didn't just happen, you know. Uh, you know, this, this BMW here that you just saw, the drift car, you know, my best friend and I, we built that. Uh, B&W helped, obviously, <laughs> but, um, you know, all these things, you know, you, you make happen, so that's definitely, you know, this is one of the biggest challenges that I've faced, and making myself a public figure, you know, publishing my book after the fact, and uh, everything else is just one more thing that I make it happen, so let's keep going. the crazy one. She's a wild one. She's crazy. So if you notice why I have uh, a gate between the cat and the dog is because the dog goes crazy and just doesn't leave Ty alone. So to introduce you, we have Zemi, <laughs> the crazy one. She has three and, a, three and a half months, and yeah, she's a Siberian Husky, and she's wild. So, uh, but she's doing pretty good. Sits on command, pees and poops on command, and she's learning how to handle this woof energy. Right, baby? Yeah, she's good. And then we have Ty Lee. All right, let's see. Come on here, Ty. Let's see, come on here. He is awesome too, but he's not that easy to grab because he is a fatty. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so this is Ty Lee, Bill and me, six and a half years, right? So I've had both of them since they were two months old. And uh, yeah, he's been through thick and thin with me. And now we're just freezing our asses out here. But that's 
just the family. All right, so sign of wear down. You guys got to know a little bit of the house. You guys got to know a little bit of uh, kind of a small little adventure I came in with today uh, to get myself a little laptop to be able to edit these videos. And you guys got to know Zemi. You guys got to know Ty. You guys got to know uh, it's a lot more. Oh, and by the way, you know, I think I'm doing a pretty good job at, uh, you know, keeping the house clean with a cat, you know, with cat hair and the dog, you know, that sheds like crazy. Luckily, it is pretty cold, so, you know, their coats are staying relatively um, close to their body, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what, what word to use, but you guys got to know, you guys got the gist of the day, you know, second video of the year, January 2nd. And, uh, you know, make sure you like and subscribe. Trust me, it's going to get a lot more interesting. Tomorrow we fly out to Chicago. Then we're heading out to Los Angeles. Then coming back. Then hopefully we'll be going to Miami. Then after that, going to Venezuela. And we'll start getting more into uh, everything that we're doing. Okay? But thank you so much for supporting. And uh, talk to you guys later. We're here.